Hello everyone and welcome to SCP Blackout, a VR game that I played a long time ago that has since come to desktop. We're going to check it out and see how well it goes. Here are all the VR controls, I remember back in the day seeing these. I haven't played this in years. While this two month long update was more than triple the survival story content quality, most new content doesn't actually show until later on in the story after the computer formats. The next two month updates for Christmas will entirely redesign the starting map from scratch and have a big focus on VR, performance, new SCPs, polish, and secrets. Also multiple endings for the survival story. So be sure to check out this game. It's an in-depth, in-development SCP game and they are constantly updating it. So give the developers some love and support and maybe we can get this in something huge like the original SCP games, or like SCP Unity. Class D reception. Dr. Miller will be out for several hours, so I have gone on break. Please move ahead to the classroom to wait. Do not touch anything. Cameras are always watching D class. So I wonder if I start off as a D class, huh? Spooky mode. Ooh. What is that? Oh, is that like Halloween? Did I scare you? No. Well, that's my lot in life. <laughs> Does it normally say something? Every time? Oh, it's not close enough to Christmas. Maybe we'll play it again then. Site 50, Floor 4. Alright, let's move in and uh, take a look around. Got a flashlight? Batteries? Batteries! How do I use this? Oh, wow, like that. Oh, look at that. Smooth dynamics. The, the door. The red door. There has to be a way through. Why is there a light behind the bookshelf? Is, is this some sort of test? Hmm. Something about a red door and a light behind a bookshelf. Let's turn on that music a bit, shall we? Okay. So that should be good now. Looks like this pulls out. Huh. Oh! Ha ha ha! So I can throw with Q. Oh, I need a key card. Any odd books that I can pull to make this thing pop out of the wall? Doesn't seem like it. Right, maybe we're missing something then. Did I just take those? Oops. Oh, no, I have an inventory. Okay. No pain. Wristband ID. The band they made me wear when I was brought here. I can't remember my name for some reason. It simply calls me D1742. Current objective? Nothing. Hello? Poor monster, what are you doing? Oh boy, movie. Hello. Hello. Oh. you are and wherever you came from. And welcome to your future. Now, you're probably wondering where exactly you are and who exactly we are. Unfortunately, that's not something we can tell you at this point. The purpose of this short educational video is to inform you and your fellow inductees what you should expect from your new life here at the Foundation. First of all, you will be given a unique personal identification number tattooed directly onto your chest. Oh God. We wouldn't want you to lose it, would we? <laughs> this will become your new name. You and every one of your colleagues will be referred to henceforward as Class D. The D stands for delightful. <laughs> now that you're equipped with your new identity, what's next? Well, this is where the fun begins. Let's talk fashion. Say goodbye to your boring old clothes. Here, you'll be fitted with our super comfortable standard issue electric orange overalls to keep you warm and cozy while performing your assigned responsibilities. All the while, keeping you looking fresh and professional. 
Speaking of responsibilities, let's talk about yours. Your purpose here is to accommodate your supervisor's demands. Those are the friendly guys with the guns. Such as cleaning up nasty messes, interacting with interesting characters, don't go off script, <laughs> making sure you're in tip-top shape, the infirmary is always open, and fulfilling interdepartmental deliveries, and much, much more. You couldn't ask for a more exciting working environment. Just remember these four simple points, and your time here will be a walk in the park. Number one. A locked door is a happy door. Number two, questions are bad. <laughs> Number three, supervisor satisfaction is key. And finally, number four, no pain, no gain. But it doesn't end here. If you successfully complete one month of rigorous Class D work, wait for it, you get to go home. No strings attached. You're free. I'd say feel free to come back and visit any time, but we can't tell you where we are. <laughs> so, what are you waiting for? Get out there and make us proud like your life depends on it. Thank you for listening. Goodbye. And most importantly, good luck. Wow, thanks, Foundation. What a wonderful, informative video. What? Anyways. Continuing on. News! This update is a big to put on the board, so go check out the Steam post. Okay, well, that's just not proper grammar now, is it? Rotating the wheel. The wheel of rotations. Don't know what that did, but I did it. Is there anything else in this room for me? Anything in the trash? Hmm. Doors. These types of doors are kept closed for security. To open, look at the keypad and press E on the desktop. You must have a high enough key card to open the door, or in the case of high-level doctors, their unique card. Some doors need to be unlocked from a remote source. Alright, so we'll be on the lookout for that. Are there any doors that I can go through yet? Survival mode. There it is. An unknown biological substance has breached multiple containments. SCP TELR. Oh. You do not go. Can't turn on the gamma. D1742. On behalf of the Foundation, we welcome you for your behavioral remediation yeah, program. <laughs> What's happening? I'd like to be let out now. Oh god. You will be consumed by the darkness. In time. Well, that means I have time to kill, so why don't we go ahead and uh, mess around for a bit. Keycard. Do I have a flashlight? Nope, just a wristband. That's a trail of blood. Well, well, well. And what the hell are you doing here? You think you can just vanish in here and come here and get your hands off me, you bastard? You better stop moving. <laughs> stop moving. Oh, God. I didn't mean that. Oh, damn. This thing's on. That was loud. All right. So, things have obviously gone seriously <laughs> awry. Buddy, you need some help? 
Yeah, just uh, sleep it off there. You'll be fine. Sure, nothing will go wrong if you just lay down in the middle of the hall, surrounded by blood and broken doors. Oh, the intercom room. Level 3 authentication. Supervisor satisfaction is key. What is th that? What is that? Beware the fence. What? Oh, it's pulsating. Ugh, I don't like that. Alrighty. Is this an elevator? Oh, it is. Allowing breach. Site 50 does not. Okay, well, those disappear too fast. So if you want to read it, read it yourself. Entering emergency power mode. Hey, let me in. Is a dead guy? Found a battery on the body. Why, hello there, stranger. The name's Dr. Harmon. Well, I need you to do a few Hi, doctor. For me. No questions asked, of course. You do that, and we both might get out of here alive. I have a flashlight. Without further ado, let's get started, shall we? Now. You go and find yourself a spare visitor access card in that guard room. And a flashlight! Computers. Soda. Good. Now try the staff bathroom in reception. Mandatory emergency evacuation. Access card in there. What is that? What are you? Okay then. Do I have a reflection? Nope. Peekaboo! Drugs here. Am I hurting? Nope. Maybe it was in the other bathroom. Ah, oh, this is the women's room. A visitor card for Max Moss. And I've already got another one for Jake to Keel. To Kyle? You found it. Nice work. I was looking over the camera feeds and saw a level two key card. No, thank you. When you can just eat at your desk. I do not like whatever that is. Whoa. What was that? Mild pain, huh? This is a brand of pills I've never heard of. They claim to be extremely potent at numbing pain. Developed by the foundation. Use! And we're feeling good! Nope, not good enough. What in God's name is that? Leave me alone! Oh god. What are all of you? It's still following me. Uh, up. Anywhere. What was that? It's a creepy fucking baby. Okay, it didn't follow me. Oh, I should have saved those pills. I don't know what either of those were. Man, this place goes deep. I have level one clearance. What's this? 
Need some kind of a fuse or something? Okay. We can get that eventually. Maybe we went to the wrong floor. Anyone watching the cameras? Some of the lights still work, so this place isn't totally out of power yet. We're getting close. Maybe I can find something in the break room up here. Another valve. I don't know what those are doing. Uh oh, blood trails are never a good sign. But everything looks fine in there other than that guy. How do I avoid those? They watch us. Are you out here? Bunch of dead bodies. So do you attack based on movement? I think they attack based on movement, or they have specific set paths. Okay, that's handy to know. What do we got here? The Collective. Closer Containment Procedures SCP TELR is to be held at Reinforced Concrete Cell, three kilometers below sea level. Access to the containment cell is to be restricted to a single elevator. Three Scranton Reality Anchors and three Cant Counters are to be placed in a circular formation surrounding SCP TELR. These devices must be examined daily in order to document anchor uptime, Cant readout analysis, humane projection graphing, and state of repair. Contingencies AR-700 and AR-500 are to be triggered in that order if the discrepancy of 20 or more humes is measured in the space running SCP-TELR. If the hume discrepancy fails to lower to a safe level within 6 hours of detection, the containment site must be locked down immediately. If the hume discrepancy falls to lower than safe levels within 24 hours, MTF Lambda-5 white rabbits are to be deployed to recontain SCP-TELR. Looks like a weird puddle of goo. Okay. This guy had a rough day at work today. Oh man, this place is complicated. Break room, security office, labs. So we're gonna need to get a bunch of cards, huh? Something at the end of the hall? Nope. There we go. More dead bodies, wonderful. But another card, and that's what we need. Dr. Francher, researcher ID. That key card ought to get you into that maintenance office. You can access the controls to the maintenance tunnel doors in there. Good luck, stranger. Oh no, something else just came through. It's that guy again. How do I avoid them? What's a radio do? Radio I found with several channel options. There doesn't seem to be a very good signal. Batteries, the wristband, the flashlight. Let's take the pain pills. Uncomfortable pain. Okay, so it doesn't heal you fully. So we do have to be careful. What's this guy taking notes on? Oh, these things. Humanoid individual that is approximately 21 meters tall. SCP TELR's interface absorbs all visible wavelengths of life, though it emits two points of red light on its head. The object is capable of transforming individuals it comes into physical contact with into smaller iterations of itself, hereafter referred to as SCP TELR 1. TELR 1 instances will then seek out other individuals for additional conversion. Physical contact with SCP TELR or an SCP TELR 1 instance does not always produce an additional TELR 1 instance. Limited testing via D class information gathered during the initial recovery of the object indicate that certain individuals are incompatible with the conversion process. Certain individuals, instead, are physically shredded by the transformation process. It is unknown why or how this failure in the transformation process occurs. So that's page 2 out of 3. Okay, so there's one more on this nightmare that we're heading through. Attention. 
Please stop sending requests to move SCP-294 here to Site-50. The coffee machine we have here is fine. It's not going to happen. If I receive any more requests, there will be disciplinary actions. Thank you, Facility Director. That's the machine that makes anything you want. Anyways. Hello all, while this should have been explained in your entry to Site-50, I will explain it again in case you either forgot or didn't connect the dots. Site-50 is essentially offline, so every outgoing and incoming request to the internet is scanned and documented by the new high-level governing AI. Over the site. TAS. Mo isn't gone, it's just taking over the simpler day-to-day -day functions, so no more slipping weird requests out past the old outdated AI. While TAS may not yet judge what you guys and gals are into, I do judge. It's literally my job, and I judge what your searches are teaching our new AI. Thinking about what you are searching on your limited turns on the web, you know you are being watched. Let's start this new year off right. So, sounds like someone was getting into some freaky business on the internet. And boss man ain't too happy. A thing out here still? Control room. That's a good place to start. Yes. Okay. Oh, okay. So that just takes the battery out of that flashlight. Gotcha. Is that a med kit? Can I have that? God, I'm gonna need it. Is that another level two card? Mr. Nick Roberts. Looks like it says level three. There we go. Ah, figured this room would be more helpful than it was. That's all right, better than nothing, I guess. Okay, so these big blast doors are shut still. Maybe I don't want some of these to open. What's that for? Lockdown, no entry, I see. So I think we gotta go back. Stay very still. Yeah, okay, I hear him now. He's using echolocation. So should have just stayed still last time. I don't have the code for that. They watch us. What room is this? Oh, it's back out here. Oh, I think he detected me, but he didn't decide to come attack. What in the world? I guess just don't look at her. Oh yeah, that put me back into moderate pain. Not good. Is this just back down? Where does this go? Alright, well let's explore up here then. Where are you gonna take me? The research wing. Preparing horrors. Wonderful. Thanks for letting me know that. Fucking hell. Use those right away. God, this game is going to be difficult. I just can't figure out enough. My mind is changing. What do we got here? The Hyla Tribe. SCP SEUK instance hands and feet may be used as fully articulated hands with semi retractable claws at the ends of both its fingers and toes. SCP SUK instances are completely blind due to lack of eyes. Hunting behavior includes utilizing both sound and subsurface vibration to identify and track its prey. So just don't move. 
Historical records of SCP Siuk instances in several Brazilian tribal settlements exist dating back several hundred years. Archaeological excavation indicate a history of contact with indigenous populations. Interesting. All right, so I was right. This guy's dues echolocation. We got here a server room. What else we got? Temp holding cell. Oh, he knows. Please leave me alone. God, that's terrifying. The Observer. SCP Ospa is a sentient sapient incapable of speech. SCP Ospa claims a capacity to observe infinite potential realities, often condescending and degrading. Oh, can I fight those shadow demon things? Okay, that's good to know. What is this dubstep looking looking thing? Is it in here? It's in here. Hello, fuck. Okay. Lost interest. Good. Oh, and we're back here. Okay, I guess we're not supposed to look at creepy stuff like that. Yeah, that would bother me too. Do we have any more meds? We do not. What is this? Look like to page three to three. Large bursts of radiation in the visible spectrum or higher are capable of incapacitating one instance entirely and may cause them to flee. Okay, so that's what that right click on my flashlight is for. Observation room A. Okay, I left for now. That's good. God, there's a lot going on. Archaeological digs, I found some extreme artifacts of Mechanite origin in the cave southwest about 70 miles from here. Miller sent out Delta 7 and a few hours later I got some wonky stuff on my doorstep at the lab. Told me to get some analysis done, hard enough to do down here in the post office, but even harder to do with equipment failures going through the facility. This is weird on its own, but the items brought in are truly interesting. There are some vials of metallic liquid and a core with massive radiation output. The retrieval squad. What is shaking my screen like that? It's freaking me out. It's gonna get cancer for sure. Poor bastards. In other news, I have an accelerator laser now after... Oh, sorry. I have an accelerator laser now housed here permanently, and I'm intending to use it. After all, it took me a few months to figure out Tesla's designs and combine it with a few Mechanite artifacts. Hope they don't miss it too much. I'll investigate more, but there have been some weird things going on, and I keep thinking traffic to a minimum is best. Officially, until I'm sure the core is deemed stable, I'm locking down anomalous labs to everyone who doesn't present level 5 credentials for a few weeks. If it blows in here at least, it won't take out the whole damn site. And just as I was hoping for that position at Site 64. Stay safe, Winters. Luke Bishop, Director of Anomalous Materials Lab. I did not mean to do that. What is all this? Base seems faint sentient. Critical emergency protocol. What is that? Incident 05. File locked. Special containment procedures. SCB Beck is to be held in a modified humanoid containment cell. 
Ventilation in and surrounding SCP Beck's cell must be capable of filtering pathogens from the surrounding air. Beck A is to be contained in a hermetically sealed chamber. Up to 90% of SCP Beck A's mass must be destroyed every seven days. All instances of SCP Beck C are to be immediately destroyed before reaching maturity, except as designated for experimentation. I have a feeling one of those shatter monsters is right out there waiting for me. Office supplies. Nice. What is this? Damn it, that was my job. I'm the head director for the biological SCP process in Newtons, and Slate swoops in, backed by God knows who, and takes head position on the project. He even locked me out on my key information. Bastard! The worst part is that I'm supposed to assist him in every way possible. I honestly don't know why anybody would choose Master Mass. It's a pain in the ass to contain, and Slate is doing a piss poor job of containing it. Luke had something that showed promise. A particle accelerator of sorts within the site, but it blew up. Seriously, it was if one or more thing goes to trash, my application to transfer to Site 17 gets sent now. Update Slate just fed Master Mash my lunch. That's two mysteries uncovered. I'm gonna file some kind of complaint about him alongside Dr. Bishop since he had suspicions about Slate by what he told me about the particle accelerator laser. I'm gonna ask him about it later this week, cause I'm busy finding ways to shrink SCP Beck. Bastard. Alright, let's take care of Ghosty Goo fucking around outside. Hi, buddy. Where are Fucking hell. Get out of here, you frog fuck. Your creepy fucking tattoos. Access denied. Access denied. Is that another one? What was that? Well, probably better than what's out in the hall. Fucking hell. Let's take a look. Can't. What is that? Oh. Please leave. It's dead? What was it? It's growing. Oh, that can't be good. Are they killing each other? Encrypted power override key. Did it just fall asleep? What are you? God, these facilities are terrifying. What did I just get? Dr. John Wang, level 4. That's good, that's good. We're making progress. Moving up. Jack. Emitted a laughing noise that is capable of rendering listeners deaf for a short duration. When approached, the object will hover in the air before emitting its auditory hazard. It will then disappear. Looks like a Halloween one. I didn't turn that on though, because it's not Halloween. Greetings. It has come to my recent attention that certain guard on duty has been coming to work area for a while to chat. While this is normally okay, I sent in a request to move out of data entry and into another lab to further my own knowledge in future. The issue arose after this move. The guard, too, remained unnamed and reduced trauma, seemed to take this as a personal attack to him or our friendship and started a crusade about a stolen coffee cup. First of all, my move had nothing to do with him, a cup, or an attack. Secondly, every coffee mug in the exact same, how the hell would I know if I took his or not? Please talk to the head of security to get this calm down. This is the coffee mug. Who cares? Such a melodrama between people in these facilities. Is that thing still there? Can I walk over that or is it gonna hurt me? I'm assuming it's dead. But I don't like it. What is this? 
Greetings researchers, I know you're all passionate about your work and working at Site50 gives you a front row access to the newest STPs before they get sent off to different places, but please, remember to shower occasionally. The 14 hour days may be a joy to some of you, but to others the knowledge induced overdrive where you forget to eat and bathe is noticeable. There are bathrooms all over the floor, so just a reminder to take care of yourselves. Please, I'm tired of complaints on this. Thank you. Kimberly Page, HR and Complaints. I don't have her key card, so I didn't run into her. Please contact your supervisor for didn't I get EPO key? Cryptid power override key made for trust personnel to control power flow and emergency from the power room. Cool, so I gotta find the power room. Motherfucker. Get out of here. Tongue and run away. Where are you crawling? Anyways. Temp holding, I gotta find the power facility. Is the floating lady still over there? She's not. Save! Yes! There's a baby around here somewhere. I heard it. What's back here? Nothing? I thought you just running a loop? God, this place is a nightmare. Breaker room is this way though, so I need to go this way. I gotta fix this fucking mess because no one else will. Oh, the battery, good. What's going on in here? Fire made in. This unit is to remain at a temperature of negative 200 degrees Celsius at all times. This unit should be capable of maintaining negative 200, up to 2,000 degrees of heat being generated by its occupant. SCP Iron is a human female that is capable of generating pyrophoric properties in any material it can see. SCP Iron's control over this property is directly proportional to the object's emotional state. Lack of oxygen and high heat levels will cause severe injury to SCP Iron, and any generated combustion is left unchecked. Okay, so lady cannot catch on fire. Don't make her distressed. And she is gone. That is not good. What was that? Description. Notes, 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 interview logs. Don't need to do that. I gotta recontain her. Oh. Erin did not attempt to resist during its recontainment. And offered a note to the recovering MTF that placed it on this file. If y'all wanna read that, feel free. I'm not reading that whole thing. It's just way too much. Is there anything down in these? And can I please get some medication? Is that another doll? Oh my god. Trying to be worried about you. What was that? Are you protecting something? I'm gonna leave you alone now. Okay, you just stay creepy over there. Wonderful. Oh, time for decontamination.
going on back here? Got to take your pills, man. That's why you're hurt. What you got? Dr. Chun, today I have been moved from the security office in Sublab 5 to the security sector in Sector 32. I swear it should have been to the left after passing Sublab 6. It's written on the map I have been given. Yet for some reason I found it on the other side of the facility when I left for lunch. The layout of this place messes with my brain. I feel like the halls are shifting in addition to that. I've been having these headaches that pop out of nowhere. I don't know, maybe I'm getting too old for this shit. I'd like to schedule a checkup though, just in case. Maybe I caught some spores from Sector 32 or something. Jacob Limstone, Security. Hello, Director. I was contacting you on behalf of my Sector team to request the possibility of a new cafeteria closer to Sector 32 on the site expansion. Denied at the bottom. More pills, hell yeah. I put one of these hazmat suits on? I probably should. Is that helping the facility? Am I restarting the power? The junk? Can't touch it anymore, so I guess so. Let's take some of these pills. There we go. Sector 32 bio wing. All personnel required to be decontained before entering Sector 32. I wonder if this guy didn't decontaminate. Let's go through again! Woo! Nice. It was back down this way. Something terrible! I'm losing myself. Have I been here? I sure have. Thank you all so much for stopping by and checking out the new video on SCP Blackout. If you liked it, be sure to leave a like down below. And why don't you hit that subscribe button if you want to see more videos like this in the future. It really lets me know that you guys are enjoying the content I make. As always, have a great day.